How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And it is, uh, yeah, beer time. Um, so beer has a lot going on in it, so that's why I'm just saying beer time. We have a collaboration beer between Terrapin and Schmaltz Brewing Company. Uh, is their Beer for Hope and is their Reunion 13 Ale. Um, never had this before. Um, I have had Terrapin beers before. Some have done me well. Um, none have blown me away yet. Um, and some are okay. Nothing bad. Um, I've actually only had a couple things from Schmaltz, but I'm going to tell you right now, their aged human blockhead is ridiculously delicious. So I'm super excited to give this a whirl. As far as what it says in a bottle, um, Terrapin Beer Company, Athens, Georgia, and Schmaltz Brewing Company, established in 1996, present a beer for hope. Chocolate, vanilla, cinnamon, coffee, reunion ale. Malt beverage brewed with cinnamon with natural flavors added. Uh, brewed, by Terrapin, brewed by Terrapin Brewing Company, I assume brewed at, because it's a collaboration ale. Um, it is benefiting the Institute for Melanoma and Bone Cancer Research. So there you go, you got a good cause going on. 7.5% alcohol by volume. And on the side here, teaming up with Schmaltz Brewing for the third time, Terrapin uh, Beer returns for a fifth year as production partner for Reunion 13. We brew reunion each year in memory of our dear friend and partner in this venture, Virginia McLean. Uh, Virginia lost her battle with uh, multiple melanoma in 2007. It was a wish that we continue to raise funds and awareness on behalf of the Institute of Melanoma and Bone Cancer Research, which is www.imbr.bcr. I'm sorry, imbcr.org, in case you ever want to donate. Um, this year's beer is a dark ale brewed with cinnamon, vanilla, uh, coffee and cocoa nips added. It was inspired by a fantastic, fantastic dessert we had to share with her, with Virginia at our favorite restaurant. The brown ale, so well, there you go, brown ale, uh, leads with a bold coffee and subtle cinnamon aroma. And they actually spelled cinnamon wrong there, which is kind of dig that when I'm getting the spellings going on there. Uh, I misspell shit all the time, so I shouldn't say anything. Uh, complex malt overtones quickly give away to a chocolate, coffee, and vanilla mix of satisfying bliss. Many thanks to all who have supported this project and have helped us honor Virginia's memory. Cheers, Pete and Alan. So there you go. There's a whole bunch of stuff on it. Alvin Sinclair, Chalk Company, Hebrew um, Beer Company, which is the Schmaltz Brewing Company, um, Terrapin Beer Company. Yeah. I mean, boys, it's cool. I mean, it's really jumbled. A lot of stuff going on, but it is a collaboration beer. It is kind of like a benefit beer, so you, they're just trying to pack information on there for good reasons. So, you know, such is life. And such is death, you know. So let's see what this sucker has going on. on it. <laughs> Got a nice little uh, ring of funky oxidation going on in that sucker. Hopefully, she stood true over this past two years. Two years, 7.5% alcohol, brown ale. Should be wheelhouse if it was aged correctly. The place that I picked this up at, Sabatini's Pizza in Exeter, PA. If you're ever in the area, northeastern Pennsylvania, go there because their selection is off the hook. They're, uh, they know what they're doing. So there you go. Uh, just a hair under a pinky finger full of khaki colored head, decently creamy top to it. Color wise, uh, you know, it's not super dark. It's a little bit darker than your traditional brown ale, but I mean, dark enough. Let's put it that way. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Cocoa and cinnamon and vanilla and coffee. Let's see what she's got. Oh, cinnamon. <laughs> Definitely get cinnamon in there. Definitely get cocoa. Or cocoa, sorry. For everybody out there. <sighs> Vanilla. I'm hot. I always have a hard time. I wax, you know, poetic about it all the time. I have a hard time picking up vanilla. It's definitely in there. Uh, yeah. It smells delicious. It doesn't smell like a huge beer, but all of that is there. It's cinnamon's there, the coconut, the coconut. The cacao is there, the vanilla. What was the one I missed? Coffee. I don't know. Could be. There's so much going on there. Now I want to say coffee because I looked at the goddamn label. Um, but um, there's so much going on there. Like, it's so many flavors, so many aromas in the nose. Mm -hmm. It's just very, very, very all over the place. I wouldn't say complex, just a lot of stuff going on difference so i mean she smells crazy she looks the part let's see she tastes crazy oh yeah there's cinnamon in there yeah and that's not a bad thing 
cinnamon speech. First thing you get in the nose is cinnamon. First thing you get in the mouth is cinnamon. After that cinnamon, probably I would say equal parts vanilla and chocolate. Um, like I said, I have a hard time with vanilla, so it might be a little bit more prominent for other people, but definitely there. And then probably a little bit of that, um, I would say coffee finish with a little bit of like a biscuity nutty malt to it. Um, a little bit of roast malt too, a little bit drying in the end. It just kind of lingers there with that roasted nuttiness. It's a combination of the coffee and, and, and the malt, I think. But um, a little bit thin. It's a brown ale, 7.5%, so it is what it is. But it's pretty damn tasty beer. Really, really drinkable. But I'll tell you right now, if you are aging one of these and you have one of these in your cellar, you definitely want to drink it. Um, based off of taste, um, I'm assuming it's either just Apex or kind of going on its way down um, just based off of taste. Or this underlying wateriness. I don't know if it's caused by the age or the beer itself. Could be either or that it's a nut brown ale or brown ale. It's 7.5%, but yeah, you wouldn't want to let it sit much longer than it is now. So yeah, not too shabby of a beer. A lot of flavor going on with that cinnamon and the cocoa, with that following with the vanilla and coffee. Not too shabby of a beer. Um, rating wise, I would give it a 88, 88, 88 overall. Real nice beer is that wateriness is kind of dialing it back for me, kind of making it, keeping it from going next level. So 88 overall, um, value and availability. I mean, I can't, it's a collaboration beer that's too old, two years old. Never, excuse me, never seen it before. Um, but I can get it if I want another bottle, I know where to get it. So I give it a value availability of a three. Value, I paid 10 bucks. So 10 bucks for a collaboration ale that's two years old, never seen before. I don't think that's too shabby. So I would give that a nine on a value scale. So there you go. Uh, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like beer that has cinnamon in it, like I said earlier. Uh, if you're a cinnamon chocolate guy, you're into that stuff, definitely worth giving a whirl. And if you're a brown ale guy or not brown ale guy and you want something a little bit beefier, a little bit bigger, definitely worth checking out. So there you go. The uh, collaboration ale between um, Terrapin and Schmaltz Brewing Company. Their um, reunion ale, 2013 ale. I should have said that weird or different. Anyway, uh, yeah, not too shabby of a beer. So, yeah, 88 overall. Just wish it had a little bit more body to it. And I would have gave it a higher score. Anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on Tap, to Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And, uh, yeah, another review down. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you drink a nice brown ale packed with all kinds of awesome stuff and um hopefully see you next time cheers